what is sin? Well, when we look at the Bible and we study it together with the spirit of prophecy, then we have a statement. I mean, there are a number of definitions of sin in, in the Bible. But uh, the one that we have as a definitive is sin is the transgression of the law. And the spirit of prophecy tells us that that is the definition that applies in terms of what the meaning of sin is. If you, if you look in the New Testament, then... Just the New Testament, there are 90 verses that talk about sin. And uh, the one that really defines it is, of course, John, where he says it is the transgression of the law. What is sin? Very important question. There's a simple response. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now, sin may also be seen as separation from God. Recording in progress. And separation from God is also separation from God's law, which is God's standard of righteousness. And so sin, yes, is the violation of God's law. Sin is also a state of sin, is the natural inability to obey God's law. Romans 8, verse 7, and verse 8, particularly 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. That is a state of sin, as slightly different from an act of sin. An act of sin results from a state of sin. The state makes me incapable of obeying God, incapable of of pleasing God. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. In other words, a person in the carnal flesh, unrenewed, unconverted, cannot do good as God defines good. Sin, therefore, is fundamentally separation from God. That's a state. The Bible also says sin is the violation of the law of God. That's the one we know most popularly. 